great stupid stupid orange stupid 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 orange stupid 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 orange orange in a nutshell stupid orange Boys, it's a half shell, not a nutshell. You sound stupid. <laughs> oh, the orange. I'm gonna go outside for a little bit. I need to get some air. I'm a linear boys. Air? You're as big as a bus tire. You don't need no more air. You need to put a pin in it and get rid of some of that air, you big goon. <laughs> whatever. There's that word whatever again. You know, Millennium Force, you need to get a vocabulary in here and start learning some more words. It sounds like you're still in kindergarten. You big sea cow! <laughs> and by the way, Millennium Force, Halloween's coming up and I want to go out! I don't know if I'm going out next Halloween, coming up next week. I have no idea. You know, Millennium Force, you don't need a costume. You're already scary looking. I want to go trick-or-treating. You should be too. All that free candy. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Take you trick-or-treating? Yeah, right. You know, Millennium Force, you could go out as a trick, and I could be the treat. You big elephant. <laughs> I want some candy. I'll give you candy. Oh, Millennium Force, I don't want none of your candy. Maybe when your sister comes over, Big Mama, I'll get some candy from her. She's offered me plenty of times, you big walrus. <laughs> Whatever, Orange. I'm going outside for a little bit. I'm going to take a little walk. I'll be right back. Bye, Millennium mm -hmm. Boys. Don't take too long. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. You big sea cow. Oh, what a nice day. What the hell is that? How the hell did that get there? I don't remember planting no pumpkins. How did a pumpkin get there? And only one. And grew so quickly. Oh well, I guess I'll go ahead and pick it and bring it inside and Halloween's only a couple days away. I might as well go ahead and do something with it.
Hey, Orange. Hmm. Check this out. I found a pumpkin outside. I'm an idiot for us. A pumpkin? Yeah, right. You must be blind. One of my ancestors. Looks like you had a baby. <laughs> You're so stupid. Whatever. I'm an idiot for it. It's a big orange. It's one of my ancestors. It might even be Pop Pop. You're so stupid. <laughs> it's a pumpkin. It happened to be growing outside, so I picked it. Video for us, you pick anything, even your nose, to you get those big boogers out of there. You're so stupid again and again and again. Remember when you picked me? <laughs> what do you want to do? Be stuck with that one now? There's only one ruler of this house, and it's me. Keep it up. I'm an idiot for us, I'm telling you again, you're so stupid, and it's not a damn pumpkin. You better make sure about it before you go ahead and do something with it. Oh man, you are stupid. You're like a clown. Well, I'm gonna go back there and I'm gonna go into the pantry and I'm gonna look for my cookbook recipes to make pumpkin pie. Because this will make a nice pumpkin pie. That's right, my little force. Think your food, that's all you think about to fill that big old belly of yours. You're so stupid, I'm telling you, but you're force. It's not a pumpkin. You're going to make the wrong recipe and cause disaster. Ah! You keep it up. Shut up. Ah, go ahead, Benidia Force. Keep telling me to shut up. I'm going to talk when I want. And I'm telling you what. I'm going to put a hocus pocus on you pretty soon. And I'm going to send you to Zing Ding. I'm telling you, shut up. <laughs> Whatever. Here. Babysit the pumpkin while I go back there to look for a book. I'm an idiot, boys. I ain't no babysitter. Pumpkin puss. Why don't you go back there and look for a book? How to lose about a hundred pounds from Jenny Craig. You're so stupid. You big Hindenburg. <laughs> what? Hey Pops, how's it going? Why were you outside growing out a vine? He thinks you're a pumpkin. I didn't want to tell him that you were my dad. What are you doing here? Oh, hi son. I see you're still with that big fat person. Orange, what are you doing out there? Who the hell are you talking to? I'm an idiot for us. I'm talking to your mama. I'm telling her how she raised a sea cow. He's so stupid. He thinks I'm a pumpkin. Shh. Dad, he's coming back in the room. Keep quiet for now. I found the recipe book. I'm an idiot for us. That's no recipe book. That's a book on how to even get fatter. Hey, but then you for us. Why don't you turn this so-called pumpkin around and take another good look at it, you dum-dum. <laughs> what do you mean, turn him around? Oh. Oh, that tickles. <laughs> what? The other side of the Air Force, the side I'm looking at. Turn it around and look at it. And meet my pop pop, you big whale. <laughs> ah! Hello, fatty. You're as big as a walrus. <laughs> That's right, Millennium Force. Meet my pop pop. And your breath stinks too. Yes, how stupid you think I'm a pumpkin. Oh no! There ain't no way in hell I'm gonna be done with this. No orange. You might as well deal with me, of course. You're the one who picked it, just like you picked me and the girls picked the other fruit. You are so stupid.
stupid. That's all right. Well, if you didn't do it, I'm going to go take that recipe book, and I'm going to make me a pumpkin pie. You could try, Patty, but I'll make you into a roasted pig. <laughs> Boy, I don't even think you could fit in the oven. <laughs> oh, pups, don't mind him. He's just so stupid. He thinks you're a pumpkin when you're my papa. I came from your tree. He is so ridiculous. He's a big sea cow. Or a jack-o'-lantern. Oh, but Lydia Force, who's Jack and what lantern? You know what? You come up with the stupidest names. Pumpkin, now a jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> Whatever, Orange. Oh, but Lydia Force, you just have Halloween in the brain of yours, thinking about all that candy you want to eat. Now you think that's a pumpkin. You don't know what to think. I guess your belly must be growling because it needs more food in it. You remind me of the fat lady singing in the circus at the end of the show. <laughs> hey, it's almost Halloween. You smell like a rotten corpse. <laughs> oh, hell no. That's it, Millennium Force. I've had it with you. I'm going to change you and your friends because I see that quacky duck and that piglet coming down the driveway. Y'all are going to be zombies. Happy Halloween, Millennium Force. The following are scenes from a stupid orange episode that will never be made, for Faith the horse had sadly passed away. Come on, orange, I got a surprise for you. You big sea cow. Whatever. Come on, I'll show you what I'm going to take you to. Oh, but Lydia Force, what surprise you have for me? Going to the grocery store? <laughs> I got a surprise for you. Oh, an idiot for us. Why are you breathing so heavy? Did you just get done with a five course meal? You big whale. <laughs> I got a surprise for you, Orange. What's that, an idiot for us? Oh, you'll see. It's coming up right now. Come on, Orange. Faith. Come here, Faith. Oh, the Indian horse. Get me away from this orange. thing. It's huge. You want to be eaten ah, by the horse? Look at that teeth. Here. Ah, your breath stinks. Woohoo! <laughs> 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 
Millennium Boys, I'm warning you, he takes the butt out of me, I'm gonna make sure he takes the butt out of your ass! Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Orange, you stink. That ain't me, you smelly Millennium Boys, that's your big fat butt! Boys, you wait till you go to sleep tonight. Ha <laughs> ha, I got a trick for you. Millennium Boys, I am not Pinocchio. Hey. Get this carrot off my face. I'm Millennium Boys, you're so stupid. <laughs>